Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. Herod the Tetrarch heard about all that was happening, and he was greatly perplexed because some were saying, John has been raised from the dead. Others were saying, Elijah has appeared. Still others, one of the ancient prophets has arisen. But Herod said, John I beheaded. Who then is this about whom I hear such things? And he kept trying to see him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Thanks. to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And so we now wonder if uh, the Canadian martyrs or North American martyrs uh, who were actually speaking more French uh, than English uh, French and they had learned the language of the people that they were serving. Um, I will just, uh, in their honor, and most of you will not understand, and that's fine. There is so much mystery in the liturgy in general, and for many years uh, the prayers were in Latin, where people were not really understanding. I will just read uh, the short uh, opening prayer uh, that we have um, in French. That is a bit different than the translation we had uh, here uh, in English. And then I found one in English that is probably the old translation that is a, a bit more um, to the French. And so the French have not done a revision of the um, Roman Missal. And so this is why there is a few words that I found very interesting for a reflection today. And so I'm not uh, wanting to change uh, what Rome has decided. <laughs> uh, but this is just for uh, us to be able to reflect on what we're called to do here. Uh, as we have uh, had so much fruit, there is a, a mention of fruit here. Uh, the fruit of our labor and the apple juice. And so you see all the work. And in martyrdom, uh, they were pressed, they were squeezed. Uh, the, their blood uh, flowed. And just before I read those, um, I want to recall Tertullian, who's a church of fathers, father of the church, uh, who wrote, and you probably have heard that before, uh, but it's good to repeat that and to bring that even to prayer. The blood of martyrs is the seed of the church. So the blood of martyrs, and especially here in Canada, the blood of those people who had uh, the gift of faith and wanted to share it has uh, made the church born uh, in Canada and from there uh, went even more south. And so, sorry for my French, that's an expression. <laughs> tu as voulu, Seigneur Dieu, que la parole et le sang de tes saints martyrs, Jean de Brébeuf, Isaac Jog et leurs compagnons, sanctifient les débuts de l'Église en Amérique du Nord. Fait que se lève partout à leur prière une moisson de chrétiens chaque jour plus abondante. And so, um, I'll read it in English now, or the English uh, official translation of the past. O oh God, who has hallowed the first fruits of the faith in the northern regions of America by the preaching and blood of thy blessed martyrs, John, Isaac, and their companions, Grant in thy mercy that through their intercession the plentiful harvest of the faithful may increase everywhere from day to day. And so, just a, a few highlights. Uh, we talk about the first fruits, and uh, Jesus is the first uh, to uh, rise into new life and bear so much fruit, this fruit that we're still harvesting. And then it mentioned the preaching and the blood, and so the words, but also. Uh, and only Jesus does that in a perfect way. Jesus who said, this is my body, 
And then he accomplished that in the miracle of the Eucharist that we will celebrate in a few moments. So the preaching and the blood. And then we named them, John, Isaac, uh, there is a Jerome, there was a few more, uh, and their companions. And so companions is a word that we hear probably every day. Uh, it is a reality that we are trying to accomplish in our lives. And so we are uh, companions of those companions of uh, John, uh, Jean de Brebeuf and Isaac. And so this is a, a privilege and a responsibility at the same time. And then just uh, we invoke the plentiful harvest. And so Father Mark uh, didn't think we had enough apples. There was plenty, plenty of work for sure. And there is still plenty of work uh, to be accomplished right now in the mission field. And then uh, just the plentiful harvest of the faithful may increase everywhere from day to day. And so we are here at, uh, at the farm. I hope that no custom officers is listening to this. <laughs> uh, but at the farm, we see the changes in seasons, the change in colors or the growth that is happening uh, in the garden or the growth that is happening with us as well. That is a subtle, uh, that is uh, often not a spring up uh, from one day to the other. Uh, it is one day to the other, uh, but it is not always in a spectacular fashion. But let us be open to the spectacular fashion that the Lord wants to call us, or uh, the seemingly uh, very gradual growth that He wants to bring about in our life, so that we might really um, be part of uh, those of fruits uh, that the Lord wants. And uh, many times when I hear fruit, uh, I think about Thanksgiving. And sure, we should be in Thanksgiving for, for those uh, Canadian martyrs, North American martyrs who gave their life and who are example for us and who are praying for us. And I will end with that. I think uh, we should have a, a deep connection with them in a very special way. Why? What is our parish? Canadian martyrs. And so we are in this uh, territory. Uh, and so uh, they are... Um, helping us to be covered in the blood of the Lamb, the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen.